Delaney's argument is, in my opinion, valid, but also invalid. I'm very indifferent about it overall, especially after reviewing um, your take on it, Professor. It's quite, I'm quite indifferent about it because although he does make valid points, such as one should strive to, you know, be the producer and not always the consumer, really strive for those jobs that are equal to the white man. But at the time he was, yes, he was, I guess, more focused on the freed people in the North versus in the South because more of them were in slavery. But if he was talking in a more general aspect, well, that's invalid because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of African Americans, a lot of black people that were in the slab, that were in the South, excuse me, that still had these obstacles, even if they were happened to be free and just happened to be lucky to be free and get that education and so forth, they still had other things they had, uh, they still had other obstacles they had to overcome, such as just obstacles in society in general they could be the hardest working they could have their own uh starting their own business if it got that far or having their own land and yet they were still looked at as unequal or less than it was just that mentality that was there at the time and even not as much but i'm sure even in the north they still had these obstacles to some degree so i at that point that's where i feel is invalid because you're telling a group of people that hey you can only be great or really not even great but equal to if even equal to if you be if you strive for these job opportunities if you change like he says your condition your overall behavior your mentality and stop believing the fact that oh because you were born into slavery you're people before you were born into slavery that you're going to be stuck in this mentality and this um domain for the rest of your life and if he's talking to these type of people that were kind of stuck in this time it's a lot harder it's easier to say hey you should do this than it is to probably execute it that's where I feel it's invalid to some degree. But I also, it does have its valid points because um, as the times went on, yes, it became more available for Blacks to have these job opportunities, although most of them were pretty below blue collar jobs, like they were more servant type jobs just because they were easier to obtain and they were more acceptable. Um, yes, they should strive to be as equal as the white men at that time. They shouldn't just submit to being servants. Why, their wives and their children and whatnot shouldn't submit to just serving the white men for the rest of their life. I definitely agree to that. But... I just, even I guess in today's world, yes, as Blacks and African Americans as a whole, one should continue to strive to be greater than equal, knowing that we have to work twice as hard. But even in today's world, some, not even some, no, some still, some white people still look at us as if, oh, you would never be equal which is crazy. We've come so many years to now that his movements like this, um, we still have to fight for being equal or seen as human and deserving of these rights. You could tell, you can educate someone, you could give them and have, give them more privilege, say like um, Booker T who was actually lucky as you stated, to be educated during this time. You can have someone in our time with all these privileges, but yet they could come into contact with someone that will still see them lesser than just because of the fact that they happen to be black. So it's really, I'm indifferent about it, 
yes, he makes a lot of points. Delaney makes a lot of points that are valid. One should strive to not submit to these lower end um, jobs and be more um, of, the, of a producer, basically more um, independent. It's the word I'm looking for, self something more independent and more willing to you know be able to pay these people out and not say that i do the job but i pay these people to do the job and they work for me that's always a goal that one should strive for especially as being a minority and having these obstacles set the front in front of you that you will never do this that you're more so the one that will do the work so that's definitely a goal that one should strive for and of course realizing that religion has been a constraint on the african-american po population as a whole because it def i completely agree it definitely is man-made and they definitely have used that against african-americans to kind of hold us to this mindset that oh this is what you're meant to be and this is your purpose in the world and that definitely isn't true but it it's conflicting that's my personal view it, it's a bit conflicting because like i stated earlier you're telling people that they should do this they should do this in order to be successful when a lot of them don't have these opportunities that were in this one location versus being in this location or they just simply have these people that are still hanging these things over them white people hanging this over their head the fact that oh well you will still no matter how many as you say the decorations you write there's enough of that you can write this down but will it ever really be in effect unless like i said these obstacles you still have the white man looking at you as if oh you could never compete you could never be that's why i feel it's indifferent I feel really indifferent about it. It's valid yet invalid. But I guess if I were to have to make one choice, I would probably lean more to being invalid since the greater population, let me not be correct, there was still a good bit of the African-American population that was enslaved and didn't really have the opportunity to be educated or not everyone was so lucky to be educated and have this freedom as those did in the north.